the new map is finally available for us to explore and test out in our own matches. And we're getting tons of new skins this week. For more news like this, stick around for this week's episode of This Week in Identity 5. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode where we talk about everything that happened in last week's patch. We talk about what we can expect from this patch and what we can expect from the future, along with some leaks, some rumors, and some secret information. Let's begin by discussing what we got last week, and we got so much stuff last week. I'm still surprised that there's still another week left of this whole Time of Union event, because we just got a ton of information and a ton of stuff dumped on us at the same time. Last week, one of the biggest things that we got was we got the whole Nightmare event, where you could participate in matches against an AI bot that was Nightmare in the Dark Woods map where there was tons of uh, green gas, depending on the level that you were on, of course, because there were four different levels from easy to incredibly difficult, where in the higher levels, the bot would become smarter, would start using things like blink, their abilities, and there was some green gas that if you went inside of it and got to 100% poison gas, you would take some damage. Deception mode, that was the hardest mode, had so much gas in it that half of the cypher machines were already covered. But the more people that completed that game mode, the easier it got for everybody else on the global server to be able to play it. Meaning, I'm assuming that there was less gas and possibly the hunter got weaker. I'm not completely sure about that one. I personally haven't played it too many times and I haven't completed it yet. So uh, I don't expect to complete it anytime soon or possibly at all because it's so difficult to do because the hunter is so smart and so good at hitting their hits. By participating in this event, um, everybody could increase the amount of uh, points that the global server had until we finally unlocked the new hunter Nightmare and man is he a ton of fun to play. I played him on the new, uh, my most recent stream and I do love his playstyle to bits, although I do think he's quite weak overall. Some people think he's incredibly strong but he has a ton of weaknesses, pallets and L-shaped and T-shaped walls being one of his biggest weaknesses. If you completed the deception mode, you also received a special label if you've got a strong enough team to compete against this nightmare hunter. We got the season 18 essence 3 as well, which where we got the little girl and her S tier skin. So if you got the S tier skin, you also unlock the little girl before everybody else. We also got an A tier skin for toy merchant and for reptilian. We also had Lucino's character day, Lucino being evil reptilian, where if you participated in you know some challenges, you could do some questions and some fragments and some clues and eventually get his special border and slowly get a coin so you can buy some of the stuff that you may have missed in previous years. We also had the IVT finals over the weekend and spoilers alert if you don't know who won and you're still watching the uh, tournament please skip this little bit but the winner was B4U congratulations we already know someone who is part of B4U so Roland if you're watching this congratulations uh, for your team you guys did amazing I'm still working my way through all of the matches I haven't seen you guys win yet but I sadly got spoiled so it's fine but you guys did amazing some other adjustments that the game got, we got quite a lot of bug fixes for different maps and a lot of bug fixes for Dark Woods because of course it was released not too long ago so they're trying to fix all the issues that there are with the map. We also had a couple of buffs and nerfs, mostly Acrobat got a insane nerf, like one of the biggest nerfs that I think a survivor's had in a long time. His cooldown time for his bombs has gone from 6 seconds to 12 seconds that is double, that is insane. His somersault distance has been reduced. It doesn't say by how much, but I would assume it's considerably. And his nitro bomb now needs 150% decoding instead of 100% so he can get an extra one. He was a very strong survivor, especially in high tiers and rank. It's good to see him being brought back down again because I do know that a lot of hunters have been mentioning how strong he is over the past week, two weeks, possibly three weeks. Novelist got a bit of an adjustment where now you'll be able to see on his avatar or the rest of the players will be able to see when he is controlling the hunter. This means that you can be careful when you're controlling not to give away too much information. And Explorer is now able to ping what his percentage is for his password pages. And they gave him a little weird thing at the bottom as well that I'm not completely sure what that means. I think it means that you have two pages. It's like two little lines underneath his screen. It's very strange. What can we expect from this week? We have quite a bit coming and once again we're not completely sure what we're going to get because 
Most of the storyline that I thought that they were going to give us over this week and last week was actually just released last week. So I really am confused as to what story or even events they're going to give us next week. But I do know some of the things that they're giving us. Sculptor's character day will be coming out on the day after the release of this video on the 17th. This means that you'll be able to participate in some challenges where you can get some fragments and also some clues to get a portrait and not a portrait frame because this is her first uh, character day birthday thingy so that means that's going to be cool we should also be getting dark woods this week so that means that we'll be able to play it everyone will be able to participate and we'll finally be able to see how good this map is competitively i am worried that it's going to be very survivor sided incredibly survivor sided but we have yet to see Novelist, Little Girl and Nightmare should be available for purchase in the in-game store now along with the bee costumes for Little Girl and I think also for Novelist so you'll now be able to buy their skins and also the characters in the game. So this will be this means that a lot of people will have access to Little Girl because almost everyone has access to Novelist nowadays. Something else coming to the store is that we'll be getting tons and tons of skins due to the Thanksgiving event, I believe. We're going to get the Necromancer skin for Fista, Misfortune for Priestess, Locomotive for Forward, Cheshire Cat for Mercenary, Caged Butterfly for Perfuma, and some accessories too for these characters, the Nosferatu one, the Steam Boiler, and also the Cat Tail accessory. All of these skins are, like, apart from one, are S tiers, the only one being that's not an S tier that is Priestess's Misfortune skin that is an A tier skin. They are incredible skins, and if you really want to go and buy one, but you don't have enough fragments, well, we're getting a 40% discount card, technically, or we should be getting one, meaning that you'll be able to spend your Echoes to be able to get a bit of a discounted price on all of these S tiers, since S tiers can be a little bit pricey. As I said, we'll also be getting a Thanksgiving event, where we'll be getting, if you log in daily and you get uh, complete some challenges, I believe from the 18th until the 20-something, 28th or 29th, I believe, of uh, November, you'll be able to get a special Thanksgiving portrait and portrait frame. The most important thing that we'll be getting with this update is we'll be getting Act 4 of the Time of Reunion event. What does that mean? I don't really know. They've been hinting a lot of stuff about, you know, Orpheus's story and the little girl's story, and I'm really interested to see what the conclusion is, or if they're going to do another event future in the future that is a continuation of the time of reunion. Uh, I'm not sure if they'll do that anytime soon because I can imagine this took them a long time to do, but who knows. What we do know that we're getting is we're getting the S tier skin for Nightmare. So make sure that you have at least three of those special uh, kind of clues that they give you in the event that have the mask on top of it because if you have three of those because you've participated in the last three weeks events you'll be able to get the s tier card to unlock that skin for free this skin is again one of my favorite s tier skins in this game and i'm really glad that we're getting it for free it's going to be sad because a lot of people have it but you guys all wanted free s tier skins so they gave it to us what can we expect from the future right now that we have some leaks and some kind of random things about discussing how the survivors are going to be hunters. And it's not completely confirmed how that's going to work, but there have been some leaks talking about how Entomologist and Prospector, also due to the videos that uh, Netties has released on the Identity 5 channel, might become hunters in the future, or they might have their own variants of hunters, similar to how Orpheus is supposed to be Nightmare. This is due to the fact that uh, there have been some leaks about their pages or their book pages being the same color as Nightmare and Orpheus's, where it's kind of like a, a blue color instead of the yellow when you go look at the characters. So this means that maybe we'll be getting a lot of other hunters that are variants of survivors. And we have also had a bit of a reveal that maybe Doctor is also part of this because there has been a Oh, Doctor has been confirmed to be a placeholder for a hunter named Guardian. Possibly not to do with Doctor at all, but right now Nettis has confirmed it's only a placeholder position as to her being uh, a hunter or some sort. We also are going to get tons more avatars that are in the usual cartoonish style that Nettis gives us for all of the hunters and some of the variants for some of their skins. So that's going to be really nice. They seem to be giving us so many avatars coming up soon and I'm very excited to see when we're going to get them. 
W. Fletch says, With the new strong AI hunter and the constant nerfs to hunters, it feels like NetEase is trying to phase out player hunters and just focus on survivors. I don't completely agree with that. I don't think that NetEase is going to completely delete um, players playing hunters anytime soon, but I do expect them to release a lot more events in the near future that are connected with AI hunters. This has been a great testing ground for them, and we know, as I've mentioned before, that they've been preparing for this for a very long time. So it means that I think that they are planning to do more special events and more maybe birthday or character events, possibly character day events, where you have to play against AI versions of these hunters. I know that they've already given us BQ. They've already given us Feaster. They will probably add the new hunter Nightmare as an AI Nightmare bot, but I can also imagine they'll add all hunters, as many as they can at least, to this game mode so that we can practice against a really strong variants of these hunters. So maybe, maybe in the future they'll get rid of us, but I don't think that they will. It's an interesting one. Baron Von Flop says, I would say IDV 2021 is very good. There is a lot of improvements and has a, as a long time player, I'm surprised that I'm still playing this game. IDV is just addicting. Uh, and I won't read the rest of that comment because I understand where you're coming from. And yes, I do think that this game is a really, a really good game. Like, I really do enjoy playing it. I love how the game works and, you know, the back and forth and the style where, you know, sometimes you can play Hunter, sometimes you can play the Survivor. And yes, even if I leave it for some time, I do want to play it again. And uh, yeah, I do agree with you. And I do think it's a very addicting game as well. Samuel Plachek says, uh, IDV is supported by DVD, so it's understandable that there are similar cases of this. We're talking about the video where I said the case of comparison. There's a big similarity between the artist and the new Hunter the Nightmare from Dead by Daylight and also uh, Identity 5 respectively. And I wasn't trying to say that they copied each other, but I'm pretty sure that they did work together on these designs because it was very coincidental. You could say it was a big coincidence that they released these characters at the same time. Do I think that any of them did the wrong thing? No, I just think that they were working together and that's completely fine since they are connected in some ways anyway. I do think that there are a lot of similarities between Hunters and you can see what possibly will come out in uh, Identity 5 if you look at what's come out already in Dead by Daylight. New Hunters, in new killers technically, in Dead by Daylight will some in some form come to Identity 5 quite near in the future because usually things like this happen. We had, for example, Wax Artist being quite similar, in my opinion, to Trickster. What do you think is going to happen in this week's event, the Act 4 part of the Time River Union event? Tell me down in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, give this video a like and subscribe if you'd like to get some more news every single week about Identity 5. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.